so I was not going to do it this way this month, but it's been a while since I've done a get ready, so um, I figured I'd do my makeup monthly review haul um, stuff, get ready with me style. I pretty much already did my skincare base, but uh, I'm going to start with this Innisfree um, sunscreen. I only use this a couple of times just because I don't feel like I need sunscreen every day. I'm not one of those people who um, wears that often, so I've only actually tried this once. This was a Boxy charm this month. I mean, so I don't really have an opinion on it, um, but I I like it so far. I mean, it's it's a sunscreen. Again, I I only wear sunscreens if I know I'm gonna be like out in the sun all day long, um, or just out where I know it's specifically hot. Otherwise, I'm just not one of those people who feels like I really need it. I'm just gonna go in with my Patrick Ta brows. Um, so, again, not everything is going to be new that I'm wearing today, but why not? For brow gel, I'm just going in with the St. Lux brow gel. I got this in a boxy charm, I want to say, last year. Primer, I'm going to go in with the NYX Bare With Me gel. Slap all over my face. It's kind of messy, but I love the way it feels on the skin. I got way too much on just now, so... Oh well, just let it sink into the skin of my eyes, I guess. Oh, speaking of primers, I did have a primer empty. I finished the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I don't know why it took me so long. I'm pretty sure I had it in my project pan, like, the last year or the year before. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to repurchase it. It Honestly, the scent's just a little too strong. It was fun to wear. I love the texture of it. But the smell just made me not like it. I hate fragrance in products so yeah I'm happy to have it out of my collection this was a new size so that's one more thing done which I'm always proud of when I could fully finish up a product eyeshadow primer the pretty vulgar one this is a very tacky primer um not my favorite but I wear it from time to time and I'm just gonna place that all over my eyes go in with my project and powder just to set. Um, that's pretty much all I use powder for anymore. Except for I do actually find that, so I learned that because I wear glasses, that if I powder like my nose after my makeup's done, that the glasses won't leave a mark. So I've actually been powdering there like as I'm heading out the door in the morning. So for eyeshadow, I finally picked up the ABH No Boo palette. This was on like a 4th of July sale at Sephora, so I grabbed it for 50% off. I was so excited. And I mean, it's as good as all the other Anastasia eyeshadows. I mean, I think this is in their, yeah, this is in their newer formula that's been out for, what, two years now? Um, but I like it. I'm glad I picked it up. But my go-to eye look with this has actually been to take its aisle, buff it in the crease. And I'll even take a little bit of Metro if I'm kind of feeling up for it. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but it's just kind of adding that just for a little extra definition, a little extra depth. I don't, I haven't been doing this too much, but every once in a while. And then I am taking the shade Lila and swiping it all over the lid. I just absolutely love this for like an everyday look when I'm wanting to go a little bit warmer, but still neutral. I love the duochrome shift in this again this is just it's I, I love this palette I love the glitters I love how I can simplify it out as much as I want but I can also go full glam which is like my favorite thing when it comes to an eyeshadow palette and then so for another item from BoxyCharm this is the Tula Radiant Skin skin tint and it's got a sunscreen in it so this one i would say that it goes on like when i initially apply it it applies very heavy but then it like lightens up as i apply it so i stick a little on the back of my hand spray my uh, sponge and then just apply it but i i'm liking it i definitely i wouldn't say it's my favorite one um, just because I don't, I have tinted moisturizers that don't initially feel heavy, but 
it, it works out once it gets on the skin. It definitely feels a lot more lightweight um, once it's on the skin than initially. Um, so I, I, I'm happy to have it in my collection. It's one of those. It was one of those items that I would say was a boxy charm win. Uh, so yeah, I can't complain. Definitely can't complain. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with a favorite. It's the NYX Born or the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Why am I wanting to say Born this way? Crazy, but lately I've actually been just applying a little like half pump on my finger and then just dotting it. Uh, I'm am going for very lightweight makeup, especially because we are still in the heat of summer. So yeah, I just I don't like anything too heavy. I go a little more heavy in like the spring and like early winter, but not in the summer. I like fresh, glowy, easy to work with. Even with the eyes, as much as I love a good full glam eye, I do like to tone it down significantly this time of year. And back to the palette for under eyes, I'm just going to take the shade uh, Metro again and just buff that on my lower lash line. So normally I would go in with mascara next, however I've been doing this and then I'm just going to take a little bit of that lilac shade on the inner corner. But, so lately, because I've been wanting to set my face first, I've actually been doing mascara as a last step versus a first step. So, I'm going to go in with blush and bronzer. So, I also picked this up in the Sephora 4th of July sale. It's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. It's been on my wish list since I picked up the blush. And I, I like it. I definitely, I think it's a beautiful bronzer. I wouldn't say it's anything like wowing in my opinion. It wasn't like the blush that completely blew me away. But I definitely love it and I love how easy it is to work with and how easy it is to buff into the skin. So I definitely would recommend it. I just wouldn't say it's like something that completely blew me out of the water. And then I actually got two blushes. One, I'm not going to wear this one today, but it's another one of my BoxyCharm blushes. The Cinta London Cheeky Blush. And it's definitely one of those like cream to powder formulas, I feel like. So it's stunning color. It's perfect neutral, muted, kind of a pinky, mauvey tone. So I, I love it. I'm glad I got it. This could end up actually being a favorite at some point. But I also picked up the Patrick Ta. Is this her new blush? It's line it's the cream to powder or cream and powder i picked it up in the shade not too much so i've been wanting like a more muted kind of a blush and this one definitely is very pink i'm just going to start with the cream it's definitely a very pink neutral like muted tone i really do like it i feel like for me i probably need a little bit more warmth in my cheeks because it's a very cool tone but like the color is my favorite color i'm just not sure it's the most flattering on my skin tone but I can't complain about the formula. I can't complain about the application. The color is absolutely stunning. I just feel like my face kind of needs a little something else. But I will continue to wear this. And I will probably end up picking up more of these at some point. This is the first blush I have in this line. And I love how I can go as light handed or as heavy handed as I want with it. I probably got a little bit too heavy right now. But that's okay. Again, I like it. I'm going to keep highlighter simple. I'm just going to go in with my Ofra little contour palette and just use the middle highlighter just to just to keep it simple but still very cute and easy. And I don't know, lately I've just been going a little bit lighter than highlighter because I'm wanting more of a glowy base versus something glittery on my cheeks. And it's bear with me setting spray. Alright, I did pick up three lip products this month. The first one is from Refi. It's their lip liner, and then I think it's like a lip setter. Uh, I'm not going to wear this one today, but I just, this is not my favorite. It feels drying on my lips. I mean, I think it's supposed to mimic like sort of a, almost a stain or like something to set the lips in. Uh, I don't hate it enough to get rid of it. Really, it's just not my favorite. It did not work out for me. And then I did pick up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in the shade Fair. And I do like this shade. I think it is beautiful. Um, might be a little bit fair for me, but nothing that a lip liner won't fix. I do love the color. And the formula, I don't know. I guess I'm not as impressed with the formula as like I've heard a lot of people say. Like it feels a little bit patchy on the lips. Uh, nothing I don't think I can work with, but just not my favorite. 
And then I did pick up the Dior Lip Maximizer. I'm not going to lie, I did not think this was a plumping lip gloss at all. I thought this was just a normal gloss. Um, but that being said, when I bought it, came home, it started to feel like plumping and I was a little bit upset. But I spent a bunch of money on it. I'm going to keep it actually plumping. It feels more like a Burt's Bees chapstick versus a plumping gloss. So that being said, I am wearing this. I am enjoying wearing it. So I am... I'm... I'm not mad at it so um yeah it's actually it's not uncomfortable and for me I lip plumping is very uncomfortable so this one is actually not bad at all pure mascara to finish out the look get dressed and I'll come right back and that's the final look really didn't do much to my hair today I don't really feel like I need to but um if you are new here welcome to my channel I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle and my goal on this platform is to share my love for beauty as well as my love for Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior so if that's what you're into hit that subscribe button and if not but you still want to stick around i would love to have you hit that subscribe button i will see you in the next one bye guys